Good morning from me and Mr. Odo. I tried to get Miss Charlotte because today's her birthday, but she's she's off doing her own thing and she didn't want to be picked up. Whereas this guy came in and was yelling at me. Why were you yelling, man? Is this why? Because you want to get picked up? I know. Um, yeah, so today is Thursday, February 1st. Yeah, first day of the month. It's fantastic. Shortest month of the year. Um, where are you going? Why are you so awkward? Come here. Okay. There we go. Kick me in the face. Yes, thank you for kicking me in the face. So, um, I don't know. I got distracted because I got a cat in my arms. He's purring up a storm, too. What a lovely kitty cat. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Are you a good boy? All right, so uh, what did I accomplish yesterday? Um, not a whole lot. Actually, I lied. I did do a whole lot. Um, uh, start, starting on my checklist, though, um, I'm back up to 282.2, uh, which I blame on not getting on the treadmill, not doing any raking, and then eating a, an entire like jar of uh, peanuts, which are not nuts, according to my uh, primary care physician and my dietitian. Um, they're legume, legume, legat, legam, something like that. But... Uh, that's not what they mean when they say you should eat nuts instead of, you know, French fries. Uh, they're not talking about peanuts. They're talking about almonds, walnuts, maybe cashews. Less cashews than everything else, though. Um, anyway, so yeah, I kind of like just gorged myself on uh, sort of healthy junk food yesterday uh, and didn't do it very much. You know, I think I got out of the uh, about 4,000 steps in the entire day, which... You know, on days that I'm doing raking, I hit 10,000 easy. Uh, but I uh, went to the comic shop, picked up the two comics uh, that uh, I had uh, waiting for me down there. Um, what, where are you going? Where are you going? And then uh, also picked up uh, one of the new G.I. Joe series. Uh, it's called uh, just Duke, which is a character from G.I. Joe. But in this one... Uh, he saw a Transformer transform, and it kind of blew his mind, and he went AWOL. And uh, from what I understand, this storyline is taking place in the Energon universe, which is separate from Larry Hama's uh, main G.I. Joe series, which is like on issue 300 and something now, um, which is a little confusing uh, because that series, Larry Hama series, is... Uh, uh, dealing with mutant serpentors and an entire island of mutated uh, cobra villains, which it's a weird storyline, but I I appreciate the fact that he's going like crazy with his storylines. Um, I would probably be uh, doing stuff like this too if I'd been writing a series for as long as he's been doing. Um, I guess as long as he keeps writing them and people uh, keep buying them. That are gonna keep him on the the main Joe series, so, but uh, the the new stuff, the Energon stuff, fantastic books. Uh, if you really want to check it on the uh, Transformers GI Joe stuff, I suggest it. It's good. It, it's really good. Uh, there's really only been about a half dozen issues uh, in that universe so far of like three or four different series because you got the uh, Duke Cobra Commander GI Joe. Transformers, and then uh, Void, Void Walkers, what, Between the Void, something like that. Um, it, it's also quite good. You look like you want to go somewhere. You want to go somewhere? You want to hang out with me still? Okay, I love you. Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, after the comic shop, went over to Home Depot, got some more uh, paper uh, bags for the, uh, for the yard because I refuse to use plastic bags because those plastic bags will uh, be in a a landfill somewhere longer than I'm alive. And uh, these paper bags, in theory, uh, if they get rained on enough, uh, will be uh, gone by the end of the year. <clears throat> Just part of the uh, natural cycle. So, okay. Sometimes he goes over there and he messes with the, the, the camera. I don't know why all the cats want to rub their face on that tripod I've got back there. Like the tri tri tripod. And it's it's going to this this fish tank right here. Uh, so I got that, got some more seed because after I'm done raking, my entire yard is just going to be mud, uh, and we're done with the freezes for the year. So after the rain on Saturday and, or I'm sorry, Sunday and Monday, 
on Tuesday, Tuesday morning, I'm going to go out there and put some seed down. Uh, mm, I think I'm mostly going to do the backyard. If I have any leftover, I'm going to do the front yard as well. Um, but before that happens, I need to get out there and finish raking the backyard, uh, which is uh, great for my weight loss journey. Um, bad for my back because my back is always killing me after I'm done with these things. Uh, but I, I expect I'll be putting another like 30 or 40 bags of trash uh, out, out by the street, which uh, a lot of work, but it needs to get done. It's going to look nice. I'm going to try to talk my wife into designing a backyard layout um, with some like leveling and maybe a, a stone wall or something. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, and uh, I'm back to the seed. Uh, oh, and I set up a uh, calendar event to do uh, Lego stuff on Twitch once a week. Uh, I can't remember what day I, I set that up on. Maybe Tuesdays. Uh, but um, in theory, I'm going to be starting at like two ish, and then running until whenever the Lego set's done, and then um, that's it. I think I'm starting small with either like a Venom figure or a uh, like a small spaceship or something like that. But uh, eventually uh, I'm going to uh, do this guy right here, which isn't specifically Lego, uh, but it is a Lego ish building plastic building block version of the Enterprise. I don't have a place to put it other than the spot that it's at right there. But that's right now it's in a box. And there's all sorts of other crap like sitting on top of it, like uh, comic books, other books, a uh, whole Harry Potter series, which maybe I should go and read all those Harry Potter novels. I never actually read the last two of them. I just watched the movies because that's where I was at. When when those books or movies came out, I think I was just reading, getting to those spots in the books. And I was like, I'll just watch the movie. Which I hear that was the bad choice, but it is what it is. Uh, and then today, uh, today is going to be, uh, raking, which I'm going to wait because right now it's about 40 degrees outside, which is actually a pretty good temperature to be doing this kind of yard work in. But, um, I'm still going to wait till it's like 45 to, to go out there just so I'm not so cold because the small bit, bit of moisture that's left in, in the leaves shoots right through your gloves. And then as soon as your hands get wet, it's gross. It gets cold. Your hands get all wrinkly, your skin starts to slough off, and then all you're left with is uh, finger bones. Finger bones! Uh, and then, um, oh, I didn't put the, this to yesterday. I should have audited this list. Uh, yeah, so uh, I got my HDMI splitter yesterday, and it does exactly what I was hoping it would do. So uh, anyone wanting to split uh, HDMI signals for a uh, ultra-wide monitor... You need 8K splitters. That's that's what you need. Um, and uh, the dumber you can get them, the better, where uh, it's just like a single button that just does stuff. Because <laughs> when they try to get too clever, uh, that's when they start like mandating uh, uh, screen ratios and resolu uh, uh, resolutions, uh, and it gets it, it too complicated. But for this, uh, I use one of them to select the... Uh, uh, the in, and then I use the other one to select the out. So it goes to two different monitors, and that's pretty good. And I just noticed that you've got like a side profile of me and my TV. Yeah. Uh, and then what else we got? Uh, I'm going to be reaching out to some people that do podcasts and websites about the Star Trek Book Club today. And I need to call back a recruiter who is uh, talking to me about an extremely well paid job. Oh, and I signed a contract yesterday. Open for a countersign one to come back today and then maybe start work on Monday for a uh, quasi part time gig that uh, uh, should be interesting. Uh, lots of uh, growth potential. So um, I'm super interested in seeing how that goes. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be my day. I'm going to just uh, um, futz around on, my, uh, on the internet until uh, it's at least 45 degrees outside. Uh, that is all. That's all I have. Um, until tomorrow, have a good day.